our next guest makes things for the internet. He spends most of his time trying to convince large companies to approve his robot jokes. He also writes fiction, co-produces the podcast Hello from the Magic Tavern, and eats Chipotle. Please welcome back to Tuesday Funk, Ryan DeGiorgi. Thank you. Hey, everybody. My goal is to bring us down to Bothers Me tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. uh, I don't think there's any preamble for this that will make it make more sense, so I'm just going to start reading it. <clears throat> it's been exactly 1,000 years to the day since I first came to Brigadoon. <laughs> And if I don't get out today, I'm going to burn this fucking place to the ground. <laughs> if you haven't heard of it, Brigadoon is an idyllic 18th century Scottish village that only appears for one day every hundred years. You can visit the town on that day, but you can't stay here unless you fall in love with one of the locals, which I don't recommend. <laughs> Especially if you're 22 and you're just kind of backpacking through Europe trying to find yourself. <laughs> Or you've spent all day br uh, drinking Bellhaven Best and maybe aren't thinking too clearly. <laughs> or if the local you're in love with is fucking Leslie. Don't get me wrong, the first year with Leslie was great. The next 149-ish, we kind of fell into a rut. <laughs> Plus the villagers' constant relentless singing was just starting to make me want to shove a hand-whittled flute through my tympanic membrane and into my temporal lobe. <laughs> During the 30 years after that, it was clear Leslie and I were drifting apart, but we stayed together for her father, because he, she said he didn't have too many years left. <laughs> I later realized this was a lie, since he's immortal, like everyone else in this goddamn <laughs> mansion. <laughs> this led to a decade of not talking to each other, followed by one last decade where we tried to work it out, but by the time we got divorced, I'd missed the nearest hundred year window and couldn't leave. <laughs> Over the 800 years that followed, I've made an escape attempt every century. One year I couldn't leave because I'd been roped into judging the annual sword dance. One year I overslept and missed it. One year Leslie was single again and it kind of looked like something might happen there. Which, I know, but I was really tired of the dating scene in 18th century Scotland. One year Brigadoon was cancelled due to weather, and one year I was almost across the Enchanted Bridge when I was accidentally shot by Van Johnson. You get the idea, that joke is for three of you. Now, normally the whole town disappears forever if anyone leaves, so I'm not getting a lot of help from the villagers with this. However, after a thousand years of absorbing the folklore, I've discovered a loophole. Apparently, I can leave if I find someone to replace me. Here are some things you might like about Brigadoon. <laughs> First, if you like stupid fucking folk dancing, <laughs> have I got the town for you. Living here is like attending a community center ballet recital every single day for eternity. No minor event can go uncelebrated by choreography so elaborate and physically demanding that it's almost impossible to believe how boring it still is. <laughs> Every resident of the town is compelled to join in these dances, even after the cartilage in your knees is completely dissolved, and each prance is accompanied by shooting pain and the sound of bone grinding against bone. <laughs> so if you're thinking of taking my place, bring comfortable shoes. <laughs> Maybe you're tired of friends who care about your problems, like Leslie's drinking or your painful dance blisters. And you'd rather have friends who dismiss your feelings with asinine Scottish aphorisms. If so, you're in luck. Sure, I'm trapped forever in a technicolored Gaelic hellscape, but I guess you're right, Angus. You do have to grab your dreams like a bonny lass and lead them to the court of fun. <laughs> Thanks for listening, you condescending asshole. <laughs> The closest thing we have to a therapist here is the guy who is never not playing the bagpipes. <laughs> he won't listen to you either, but at least he's the only one in town who can't break into song. If you're looking for old world charm, great. 
because Brigadoon's whole thing is how it never changes. Which is perfect, because I think we can all agree that the 1700s really had it right. <laughs> no room for improvement there. Who needs plumbing and women's rights when you've got handmade rocking chairs? <laughs> if you're tired of the complications of modern life, try spending an entire day in a meadow gathering heathers or some bullshit and see how you feel then. <laughs> I've been trying to invent the internet here for the last 600 years, but just when I get close, the whole town comes together to perform a rousing number about how you got to give everything, to get everything, or how you got to lose something if you want to find it, and then the big finale is them destroying all my work with hammers. <laughs> I guess I don't even know if you know what the internet is. I've been here for 10 lifetimes. I'm sure something even better exists now, and I want to see that shit. <laughs> Of course, for many people, the most interesting thing about Brigadoon is the immortality. If living forever sounds great to you, I am not about to tell you otherwise. Whatever you do, don't read any fiction on the subject, or philosophical essays exploring the horrible implications. Just take it from me, you'll love it. And if you don't, don't bother trying to kill yourself. I lost a lot of time in my 700s to that approach. But no matter how I did it, I'd end up sitting through my own interminable funeral as bony redheads danced for hours on end. Then I'd just wake up fine again the next day. So anyway, if all this sounds great, or if you just like to check out a town of women willing to marry anyone they spend the day with, let's trade places. Just wander around the Scottish Highlands until you hear a sweet, haunting melody, punctuated occasionally by the sound of my screams. <laughs> I've only got the rest of today before the town disappears again, so this is a real buyer's market situation for you. <laughs> I'd be willing to sweeten the deal with any of my personal possessions, though I have to admit my iPhone doesn't really do anything useful in Brigadoon, plus it's last generation's model and it runs kind of slow, plus there's no electricity here, plus I chucked it at a guy doing a jig on an old fence post, because fuck that guy. <laughs> I'm not sure my escape will work, but that smug mummy at the bridge is always saying, if your love is strong enough, anything is possible. I'm hoping that hate, which is sort of like an inverse love, works the same way. I'm over a thousand years old. All my friends and family are dead. For all I know, I'll crumble into dust as soon as I leave this place. Please come soon. Thank you.